Guys, I just feel like day after day after day, yesterday was a pretty good day. I felt really good. I felt like I was on top of the world, but have you ever felt like you're just in the middle of a day? I feel like I just have one right after another, and I'm so sorry that you are susceptible to my ebbs and flows of emotions and just trying to balance it all. But you know, I think Saturdays can be hard. They're a gift, but they can be hard because you know, the kids have had had a long week at school. Um, two of them are just like, probably could still be taking naps and I just don't necessarily enforce that anymore. So I just feel like everyone is on the brink of explosion. And so I'm feeling it really heavy today really heavy today and so I just wanted to um, come at you I again will not be sharing it's not like mind-blowing or anything but it is something to consider I just don't think I'm in the right heart space to share again three days later what it is that I wanted to share at that time but today I saw a post this morning um, from a friend Laura Miller you might follow her I think she's fit happy girl mama on Instagram uh, she posted something Tony um, Robbins shared, which is mistakes happen and it doesn't matter how many you make and how slowly you progress, you're still way ahead of the person who isn't even trying. And while it's not a, it's not a competition, okay? Life is not a competition. I think some of us play it that way and it's okay to compete against ourselves. I think it's important that we keep pushing and that we keep growing and that we keep striving to um, be better people. Um, just have like kinder hearts and kinder spirits and all of that stuff. So I think that that's okay to be competitive about. It's not about other people necessarily, but I think it's a good reminder that the majority of the people though are not even trying. They're completely happy with where they are and I'm happy for them that they are. But listen, the mistakes you're making, and I make so many, and I'm thinking that this is why I'm sharing this right now because I feel like I am just constantly failing. Lately, just constantly making mistake after mistake after mistake, whether it's what I'm saying or what I'm what I'm doing, the choices I'm making, the, the way I respond, all of this stuff, you know? So it's encouraging when you read something like, you're making mistakes and you're progressing slowly, but you're still doing more than someone who isn't even trying or still doesn't see, maybe they don't see any fault in how they're acting. Because there are those people, right? You've met them. The people that can do no wrong, say no wrong, be no wrong. Um, and, you know, in a sense, I kind of covet those people because if I were oblivious to my feelings, and I definitely feel better about myself, but I want to know about my feelings so that I can strengthen myself. I think that our greatest... Um, I think that our greatest message that we can give other people, our greatest encouragement, comes from our brokenness most of the time. It doesn't, it's not a place of, I've arrived. It's not a place of, I do it better than you. It's a place of, I fell flat on my face. And this is how I got back up. And, you know, and so I feel like, I feel like that is a good word today. And I wanted to share it with you. And hopefully it encouraged you like it encouraged me. Because I think we all need encouragement. I definitely did today. I do every day. I like a good challenge too but I'm kind of over the challenge already and it's not even noon yet. So um, you can be praying for me. I'd appreciate it. This Saturday is probably going down in history as the most disastrous Saturday of all Saturdays. So I know I'm being dramatic, but that's how I feel. <laughs> I wanna laugh, I wanna cry, I wanna feel all the feels because that's what we do. But remember that even if you're making mistakes or progressing slowly, you are still doing more than someone who isn't even trying or cares enough to try at all. So I'm really proud of you for making those mistakes and progressing at all because it is something and you need to be proud of yourself too. So if someone needed to hear this, because I sure did, you go ahead and tag them in the video, comment below, I'd love to engage with you in some way. Or, of course, subscribe. I'd love to uh, have you part of the family. Pray for you. And um, just make sure you know you're loved. Talk to you later.